Well, we're here at Pioneer Village. We showed you the signs that we got on the online auction. They still have some more excess that they're going to sell off, a lot of it which is in some of these buildings. Now, some of this stuff is already sold, some of it is donations, but some of this stuff is going to be sold on an online auction coming up. So we're going to check it out. Like I said, not everything you see is going to be available, but we'll see some of this stuff pop up on, on auctions, but some of this stuff is donations that hasn't made it to the museum yet. This is kind of a storage and holding area, but we're going to check it out anyway. Larry's been kind enough to, to open the doors, let us look at it. We're going to take you along and oh, check it out. Here we go. We're going to start sorting through some of these buildings, showing you a sampling of what's in here. Larry said this is kind of what they had with to start with on a lot of these buildings, literally just piles everywhere. The board has worked very hard. They've got a huge volunteer staff that has helped sort through some of this stuff. But you literally, he said, they literally said we didn't know what we were going to stumble onto in any of these buildings. But as we're just walking through here, like right here, there's airplane parts. There's stacks of wood with airplane parts stacked on top of them. It's just, he said, and he said, this is the way they all were. They made a lot of progress in a lot of these buildings. But really, he said, this is what they have encountered with about all of these so not a lot of exciting stuff in here a lot of lumber a lot of things like that but we don't even know what's in all these buildings larry's going to let us look we're going to take you along with us so let's go check some more of them out wandering through another building and there's stuff everywhere i mean look at these pallets here old cash registers this museum literally is encompasses everything that shows the progress of mankind from old push button cash registers to the electronic stuff we have today that's what's so awesome about Pioneer Village is it encompasses all of it, not just cars, not just trucks, not just tractors, not just trains, all of it, all the way down to kitchen utensils. This building, they've made some progress in. They've got a lot of room in here. They've been sorting some stuff, as we can see, that they had on their online auction. We see a few cars back here in the background. Uh, I don't think those have been sold. Those may pop up on the next auction. This tractor was a recent donation that just hasn't made it into the museum yet. This old Farmall International or McCormick Deering Farmall. So like I said, so much cool stuff in here. This is just the excess stuff they're sorting through, working area. So lots more buildings to come. Let's go see what else we can find. Well, here we are in yet another building, another building where they've made some progress as they've been sorting through the surplus inventory that they had on their big online auction. And they will be having another one coming up, but there's just so much stuff here. Church pews. Lots and lots of old wooden spoke wheels. They've got wheels stacked all over in a lot of these buildings. And we get up here to the front, we see old chairs, old wells, old parts, old farm equipment, just a little bit of everything. And when I say a little bit of everything, I mean a little bit of everything. How about an old trolley car? Yeah, there's even an old trolley car in here. Old wooden structure trolley car. Now it's rough, but this thing's, <coughs> I don't know how old this thing is. Has an old label or an old brass tag still on it. We look inside of this thing. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, I don't know, this thing's got to be well over 100 years old. And it's rough, but it's still here. It's still intact. It's been preserved. It's been saved. And it still exists. That's the crazy part about it. So... On to another building. Okay, here we are in yet another building, and there's some really neat pieces in here. Starting off with this big, massive machine right behind us, this super cool old threshing machine. Uh, let's see. Hart Jr. Hart Grain Weyer Company, Langdon, Hart Jr. Feeder, Peoria, Illinois. Patent date 1911 through 1915. So some pretty early stuff. Now this stuff here, is actually staged for the next auction. You see the labels on this stuff. This is getting ready for the next auction. I don't know when it's going to be, but they're getting it ready. But we see these old wagons. There's just some neat stuff here. You know, this stuff is all obviously well over 100 years old. Been in these buildings for, don't know but for sure, but probably at least 50 or 60 years. These things have probably been in these buildings for half their lives. They've been preserved, which is amazing. Super cool railroad cart right back here. And these old wagons, I mean, a lot of you, we see horse-drawn wagons in movies and things like that, but there's one of them that's really cool they pointed out to me. This particular wagon here has actually got a belly dump in it, like for rocks or grain or whatever. It's got a mechanism up here that opened up to open a door on the bottom, and it was literally a belly dump type horse-drawn wooden wagon. Now, we see semis going down the road with those big belly dumps on them now, they had it a long time ago, just a little more primitive. 
the old wood on these wagons been on there for, you know, like I said, probably over a hundred years. They're still intact. They're still solid. It's crazy to think about the amount of history, the story these things could tell. This particular piece right here, this thing is another super cool piece that we were just looking at. This wagon, look at this big massive gear on this wagon. It had these big wooden, big huge boards here that stuck out the side. They thought you could, it was set up to where you could take this off and hook, hitch your team to these boards and they would walk in circles around it to run this big gear as some sort of a power unit or a cable pole or something. But literally this, I mean, you look at the gears on this thing, you look at what it, the, what it took to put this thing together and how, and the fact that this was literally powered by horses over a hundred years ago, absolutely amazing, the stuff that is here. That's what's crazy about Pioneer Village. It is a little bit of everything. So much history, so much stuff to learn. We see a whole section of old grinding stones here. Things are literally that diverse. Old axles, old doors, old cathedral type windows. These old, like oxen things, you, you went around the neck of oxen. It's, it's, it's a lot to take in, and we're not even done yet. And we haven't even gotten to the museum yet, so let's go check out some more cool stuff in the, in the build, storage buildings. Well, we're in yet another overflow storage building. And this thing is piled deep. But like I said, they've been working on these buildings, but a lot of this stuff hasn't been seen in decades. And there's stuff everywhere. Look, this looks like an old coffee grinder, maybe. I'm not sure. It's pretty cool, though. Old cream separator. Big pots, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's just everywhere. Old wooden crates. There's just so much amazing stuff in here that isn't on display. Like I said, they sold a lot of this on an online auction. They're going to sell off some more surplus inventory too in the future. We work our way back here a little bit too. Look at these old plows. Those are big, huge fire hose. Big, you know, it was probably a horse-drawn fire cart. That's how much amazing stuff is here. And remember, this is the overflow. This isn't even the museum. Be sure to check out the playlist to catch the stuff from the museum because there's a lot of cool stuff in there. Oh, the church, the sign from the Bethany Lutheran Church, wherever that happened to be at. Old tools, old gates. Stuff just everywhere. Just an absolutely amazing history in here. and literally a little bit of everything. You literally never know what you're gonna see. Look at all the old lug wheels for off, the tra off of tractors, rows of them. Old duck decoys even. Cool old lights, crates, boxes. It just literally doesn't end old lights, old brass headlights, old farm implements. Wow, just amazing, amazing, amazing stuff. So really, really privileged to have this opportunity to be in here and be able to share this with you when we had the chance. So like I said, got a few more buildings to go. We're going to check out a little bit more of those too. So Let's move on to the next. We've been looking at a lot of the stuff in these buildings, but there's one super cool piece here I wanted to point out in particular. Check this thing out. I don't know how old this is. Fresh roasted peanuts. We look at these old wheels on this thing, the old valves. I have no idea how old this thing is, but it is super cool. Now back here, we've got a tag on it. Manufactured by the Bartholomew Company, Peoria, Illinois. Talk about amazing stuff, it's everywhere here. And yet another storage building, stacked deep in here as well. Once again, just a little bit of everything. Hubcaps, old cabinets. Check out this cool old shopping cart. Even this is unique. Check out the handle on this shopping cart. A little accessory basket down here. That actually probably come in kind of handy on today's shopping carts. But just the flat metal structure on this thing really neat there again something you don't see nobody ever kept that stuff nobody ever cared 
But that's what's amazing about this place, the story it tells with some of the basic everyday items. Uh, apparently we've got some probably Model T's here, I'm guessing. Not really sure. There's, there's actually two of them stacked in here. Yep, these are early Model T's. We can actually see the Ford on the radiator of this one. And that chassis is actually sitting up on another chassis. You know, and who knows how long these things have been in here, but it's been a really long time. The old push mowers. Hey, there's some more old cars in here, some old trucks. Looks like another Model T probably. Nope, that one's a Chevrolet, actually. Yeah, but I guess that's right. I didn't see the little cowl lights on it. Late 20s era Chevrolet truck. Uh, oh, wow, look at all these old beds. And another old truck. This one is a Model A the way it looks, Ford Model A truck. Like I said, who knows how long these things have been in here, but it's been a really, really long time. More old farm equipment. Don't know a lot about farm equipment, but kind of some neat old stuff here. 227 on that, not sure what that is, but pretty unique looking thing. Hmm, that's a pretty interesting piece of equipment. Don't know much about it, but it is definitely unique. Wow. So much stuff in here. So much old kitchen stuff, it looks like. Old scales, old washing machine, old piano. Old bells, check out the old bells. Wow, look at this pulley. Something you don't even think about, industrial. Look at this pulley though, this thing is massive. That's what's crazy, so much amazing stuff. So, it's everywhere. Let's go see what else we got to check out. Well, here we are in yet another building. This one has some awesome trucks in it. And they said some of these may be on the next online auction as well. So it's pretty dark in here. We're towards the back. And with these trucks in here, it takes up a lot of real estate. We'll kind of show you some of them. There's a, a 70 International pickup. Looks like a pretty decent old pickup. Don't know how long it's been in here, but it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. 41 Chevy cab over. Kind of like... Uh, same, same, basically the same truck that we bought on American Pickers uh, of the 41 cab over that uh, we got from Mike Wolf. So always kind of exciting to see another one of these that uh, is very similar to ours. This one has had a, looks like a early, an older restoration. It's been painted, but it's still got a lot of dings and dents in it. But there again, these old cab overs are still cool to see. Always cool to see one like, you know, similar to ours as well. Kind of work way around, got an old Studebaker farm truck. The old M-Series Studebaker. These are good looking trucks. Got this big Studebaker right across the front. But they cleaned a lot of the little stuff out of this building. It's just mainly got trucks in it, some excess tires and wheels, things like that. But that's about it for this building. But hey, that's not all bad when you can see a cool, some cool trucks like we just checked out. Well, there you've seen some of the stuff they've got in surplus. We've got a little more to go. We're gonna check out some more cool stuff, but uh, this one was so awesome can't thank Larry enough for letting us take a look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got a lot more cool stuff coming. We got more stuff in storage. We got to do some stuff in the museum. It's going to be awesome checking this place out. We've got our signs loaded. We're super excited. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned. We got a lot more cool stuff coming.